Hi everyone, it's Tara. I'm so happy to be talking to you. Uh, today, I wanted to share with you a recipe that I found that I think that you are going to love. It's for homemade moon sand. So before we start, you're gonna need mom or dad's help. All right, are we ready? So what you're gonna need is a big bowl or a container like this. You're gonna need a spoon if you don't wanna get your hands dirty in the beginning. You're gonna need four cups of flour, the kind that mom and dad bakes with. And you're gonna need a half a cup of oil. It can be cooking oil or it could be baby oil, the kind that you put on after a bath. So with your flour, you're gonna pour it into your big container. Like this. And then you're gonna take your oil and you're gonna pour it all in. And you might need mom and dad's help for this. Now, if it's a little sticky to begin with, you can use your spoon and stir it all up. And you're gonna keep stirring until it's the same texture as the moon sand that we're used to. Now, if you wanna get in there with your hands and have more fun while you mix it, go ahead, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna mix it all up until it's nice and soft like moon sand. And that's all you have to do. Then it's nice and soft moon sand that now you can have lots of fun with and play with. So things around the house that I found, once your moon sand is ready to play with, you can grab some cups to make some sand castles. You can use your spoon to dig. You could have mom or dad hide some things inside to find. You can also find some things, some toys to play with. I found some dinosaurs to make some footprints. You can grab some of your favorite toys like Thomas and make some train tracks or some cars to put in. I found some action figures to play with and dig with. So I hope that you try it and you have lots of fun and I can't wait to see you guys again soon. Bye everyone.